Hi everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Today's custom doll is actually my first ever collab. Retro Doll US is hosting a love struck Valentine collab and I thought it fits perfectly. So I decorated the scene in everything pink so we can get started. For this project I will be using a 13 Wishes Jackalora doll. My theme for this doll is pink and love and hearts and everything sweet. So the first thing we have to do is to remove the, the black parts in her hair. Take a good pair of scissors, not like the one I'm using, and snip off all the black parts as closely as you can to the root. I also use a dentist tool to separate the hair. When you have removed the most part of the black hair, you can poke the buzzed cuff, buzz cuff back into the head so you can't see them. Now that all the black hair is gone, I'm going to rinse the hair and try to remove as much hair gel as possible and I will be back. So it didn't really turn out as I thought it would, but we can work with this. And here's all the materials. Fabric glue, a rerouting tool. I also removed the top part of her hair to give her another like separated color. And because we are collabing with, with Retro Doll US, I feel the need to use Retro Doll hair, which is like the only doll hair I use and I love it. So I thought I would use it in Delicious, but the color didn't fit with the dark pink. So I switched to Retro Doll US Powder Puff in a lighter pink color. Let's reroute. The way I do it is getting the hair in the needle like so. And then you're shoving it in the already like whole pluck part. When that is done, I start removing her factory paint with pure acetone. And then rinse it with water and soap to remove re recast re recent? to remove residue. When I came back, I had this beautiful sunset at my window that I just had to show. Let's get spraying. I'm using Mr. Super Clear UV Flat. And I wait for about 30 to an hour in between layers. And I always start off with two layers. I had a reference pic of how I wanted the makeup to look. I wanted the big lid space, so she got this serene, like, half-sleeping eye look. Even though this was like my first layer, the blue was sticking out really good this time so I could basically put on all the base color I wanted in one layer. The reason why I gave her blue eyes was because I wanted them to pop from all the other monochromonic colors, like the pinks and the reds.
Because the color of the doll is already pink, I had to use darker pink colors to make them stand out. I go in between a lot of different pinks and whites to build up dimension. The eyebrows was kind of funny part this time because I wanted them to be more on fleek than natural, so it worked out really great. I always switch between polycolor pencil and watercolor pencil when working on a doll.
Because my reference picture had a bold eyeliner, I'm trying to draw bold eyeliner on my doll too. I'm building up the color with different pencils to give dimension, like the brown on the lips, and then red, and then pink, you know, everything goes on top of each other to give like a good dimension and good color spread, like overlaying. Remember to take your time. The face up is the most fun for me, so I like it when I can take it slow and just build it up. I want the eyelid to have a wet effect, so I'm using a lot of white to like build that up. Sorry for being out of frame. The hardest part is making the sclera more white, so I had to be really close to the face. As always, I'm using a citadel color in white to make the sclera. It's a water-based color, so it's easy to remove mistakes, and it's especially good on miniature stuff. Then I switch to Citadel Color in Abaddon Black for the eyeliner. I mix the white with just a tiny smidge of blue to do the highlight and catch light. Now, let's do something fun. I bought this Citadel color in Auroric Armor Gold, which is a pretty light gold that I'm using on my newly found Warhammer army that I'm doing because I'm starting to play Warhammer, I guess. Blame my partner. But I want to use it on this doll too. I didn't feel like doing hearts, so I saw some makeup that I can't find anymore which had like dot uh, dots going down her face like pearls and decided to go with that and some extra gold on the cupid bow now that the face is done i'm going to gloss it with varnish on the lips and the eyelids to give the wet look i was talking about hexen did that on one of his videos a while ago now that the face is done let's tackle the hair I first pour some hot water onto the head to make it lay flat and while the hair is like warm, not really boiling warm, I'm putting a warning here, I don't want you guys to um, hurt your hands if you have sensitive hands, be careful, use gloves or something. But I pull the bangs forward towards the face to form it. While that is drying, let's work on the clothes. This is my bad attempt at showing how I make doll clothes. I want to make like a sleeping Lolita dress, if you've seen them. Well, first I start with hemming the skirt bottom part. I'm using a shimmering machine. I'm using a sewing machine and use a straight stitch. Then I gather the part, uh, the overlays, and sew a straight stitch across. Try to keep them as 
thick as possible so it's easier to gather. I had a bit of a problem but it worked out in the end. the skirt all done I do the same for the arms to gather them I did so like the whole top part together before realizing that it didn't look good so I skipped that and went for this instead it looks more like a sleeping gown as I wanted so I'm happy I'm just gonna give this some sparkles and some details and... Well, let's get back to the hair. I really like the length of the hair, so I just used another pair of super bad scissors. Seriously, I need to sharpen them. And cut the light pink hair that was too long to fit more with the dark pink. And then I brush it out. Now that all the parts are done, let me put it all together so we can see the finished result. And here she is, my pink cutie. I love Valentine aesthetic and she is definitely the embodiment of that. I don't have a name for it yet. Any suggestions? This was so much fun. Thank you to RetroDoll US for hosting this doll collab and to everyone participating. It's been so fun talking to you guys and seeing the process. You can of course see pictures of the doll and my other ones at Instagram if you aren't following me already. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you wanna go that extra mile I have my Etsy down below. I will see you some other time. Bye!